love that sound the white boat scurrying down the net Lovely day for having a white bait for the hard day today. The office. Good morning. Hey. Good morning. Another day out today. White baiting. It's a glorious day today. Check out the weather. It's so nice. There's no wind at the moment. And I've got my beautiful cousin over here, Nicole. Good, on Nicole. And she's come for a session of white baiting today. And I'm going to cook her up a white bait fritter. Hopefully the wind's going to hold off, otherwise we've got to cook it down in the white bait, the white bait breeding ground, which is empty. So, hope you enjoy this day today. We're going to do a catch and cook, hopefully. I did bring some white bait from yesterday's catch, so we're going to be eating that today. And, uh, oh, I forgot, I forgot a lemon, lemon. I remembered it twice and I forgot it twice. A lemon. Incoming tide. High tides at about 11.30 today, so we've got about three hours of incoming tide. And the water's still a bit dirty, got lovely current down here. Tides come in lovely current, so hopefully the white bait will be on the side. Rubber's there, kill the rubber. So, welcome to another video with me and my cousin Nicole and rubber. Here we go, the first drop off the net in the water. I think it's about half past eight, somewhere around there, I'm not too sure, but it sounds good. There we are. Actually, the waters are quite. So I just lifted up the net, been there for like a minute, and we've already got our first little wee shoal of white bait, and it's good white bait too. That's a nice white bait. First little shoal. Just like yesterday, white bait were coming on on the incoming tide, which is unusual, but nice white bait. And I'll put it in, then I'll get you to do the next one, Bonnie. You better have a lift up, and oh, that's nice. It's nice white bait. It's oh man, awesome. Because the water's a bit dirty and these things here are so clear, it's actually quite hard to see them until they're in your net. Angle there. Yeah, with the front facing up here. That's it. Let's have a look in there. Let's see what we've got in there. Six happy days. I can see them yeah, from here. So <laughs> I can see them here. Ooh. So you didn't empty it out or should I empty it out for you? Oh, you empty it out. I'll do it next time. Okay. So you didn't even see them going, did you? No. Second little shoal, look at that. Oh, it's up to a, adds up to yummy fritter. Yeah. That's what we do for the next six hours. <laughs> Lovely, clean white bait. Apart from that one there, that one's a bit of a, that one's a bit of a, got a puku on them, so we'll, we'll put them back into the water. Oh, it might be a good day like yesterday. Saves me a job, Neil. <laughs> <laughs> nice, yep. Beautiful. Is that alright? Yep, looks alright. Cool. Did you see those go over the into your net? Nah. Our shoals are getting a bit bigger here now. That is like far out. Check that out. There's a good little shoal in the sunlight. Oh man, it's been another good day today, I think. Hopefully, two days in a row, we're finally getting some white bait. And just like that, it's shoal number four. Oh, nice, that's great. Another good shoal. Get it. Yeah. 
Enough of that would be enough for a fritter, one of those. Nice. That's like one more it's, it's about a fritter size. So. Oh, I love that sound. Going into your, into your bucket. The right day to come down for weight bait, that's for sure. Oh, a couple more up there. So your nets in a good spot, it's right there where they come in, so that's great. A few more of those. Okay. Weight baiting today. Had a hundred bucks a kilo in the shop. Oh, wow. We'll be paying for it. There you go. Nicole's just pulled another good little shoal there. Yeah, I love that sound of the white bait scurrying down the net. Hear that sound? Oh, nice white bait too. Oh. Happy days, we say. Well done. Far wow, out. That is awesome. What a great start of the morning. We're doing all right already. It's a quarter past nine. We've been here not even an hour. We've got a decent lot already. So high tide is at 11:39. Yeah, another little shoal, all but the same size. Lovely white bait. Adding to our day's catch for today. So we're going to have a cup of coffee. You know, Cole wants a coffee, so we'll do her coffee. We've got a nice clean cup here for you. Warm brews and awesome views from uh, Kmart. Right, rubber. So got the Ali Express. You'll find this in the description of the video. The APG gas stove. Nicole's behind me listening to when I'm talking the sales pitch here. You got here a, a frying pan attachment. So you can do a frying pan, see? Open that up like that. Good for in the bush. So you can sit a frying pan on that. And we've got a little gas bottle here. Oh, there's enough gas. So we're going to put the coffee on. Your white bait? Okay. It's been a bit quiet on the old white bait for the last hour or so. We've pulled up nothing at all. Yesterday we were still catching this time of the tide, but now it's just gone dead. It's a nice current, but it's just not happening at the moment. But we've got enough in our chili bin anyway, it's better than nothing. Should be enough. Mm. Yeah, good little thing that one. Yeah, that's, cool. that's a 1.4 litre one and that, that little gas canister sits inside your thing. Have a coffee, especially for the worker over here doing all the work, to be thirsty ears. We've got a lovely bit of white bait here that we cooked yesterday. Defrosting, we're going to have that for our lunch today. We'll do a lovely little kitchen cook down here in the river. And 
this will get any better than that. Put the chino down by the river. I have a coffee while well Nicole does all the work. Mm. Oh man, that is nice. Really nice. Doing a good job down there. Keep it up. Mm. Man, that's so nice. You rubber. There you go. Nice eh? cappuccino down the old river. Good brews, awesome views. Mm. Oh yeah. She's like drinking in a cafe. <laughs> Oh, my helper over there's done a really good job. Well done, that's awesome. Yep. Still there every minute bringing it in. Outgoing tide. Right, welcome back to the video. I've got my helper there. Checking the net all the time, and I'm going to cook her up a lovely white bait fritter in the old kia butter roll or kia butter, whatever you call it. I always forget the name of that. So, we're going to taste this onto this pan over here with this APG gas cooker stove with the pot attachment. And our frying pan will sit on there nicely. And we've got our other stove we brought down. So, a couple of eggs on here into the old bowl, mix it up. And add some white bait into the pan and white bait fritter on with sea butter roll. So stick around and hope you can enjoy this tasty little cook up down by the river using yesterday's white bait. Fresh as it doesn't get any better than that, does it? Right, so first we're gonna do we we'll add some egg into our into our cup there. Okay. These are the best white bait fritters to have, just egg and white bait. Got some flame happening on our stove. We're going to hold you up for a bit because uh, Nicole's just got a, another shot of white bait, so stick around. Got to empty this out. I've turned that off. Oh, yeah, nice. And what you do is you just tap up here really light, lightly. Yep. Give it a bit of a tap here. And tap them in. That was yeah. a good little show. Yeah, it was. Nice. There we go. Still catching white bait while we're cooking kai. Well, my Gary over there, he might be hungry for a fritter, but hey, he's used his own white bait. it up into our with our egg down a bit there we go look at that On there. Bit too hot. Bit of pepper. That's it. How does that look? Anybody want a one pan fritter just like that? Got here a bit of oil on my bread. So we're going to toast it on this pan here. Hopefully that should be alright. Make it a bit crunchy, I can do one at a time. Never mind, one at a time then. How does that look? Oh, well, it's bad. I think it better, does it, than that, alright? Yeah. Did you guys have a fritter you said? Oh, a couple of years ago. 
a couple of years ago, there you go. I had one yesterday. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, get our breath. Oh, you thought it was going to happen. But you get that in the big jobs, Nicole. You get that in the big jobs, unfortunately. So I'll turn that off because it's cooked. I'll turn that off. Get this bread roll sorted out. That looks a bit better. And we'll give Nicole and have the famous blue plate for her sandwich today. So I've turned the pan off at white bait for it, it's still cooking. It's good to do this bread rolls. But man, it's such a lovely day here today. There's no wind at all like yesterday. It was quite windy and it's quite cold today. It's so nice. Feels like summer's here today. Oh, look who's turned up. You gotta ask your cousin if you can have some of your white bait fritter. That's all right, happy with that. So, it's on a bit of a toasted bread, that's all. And all right, this can go on. Rice pan all on this side. Go look at that old, oh look at that, awesome, that's what you want. Let's look again, needs a bit more cooking on that side. Look. So first time I've done a kitchen cook white bait for on this spot. Mm. You guys have fritter that into your bread roll here. Okay, hide the bread. This one here on top, Elchi Kawawas, and there you, there you go, Nicole. Here's your koi. Oh my god, there you go. Thank you. Yeah, wow, enjoy that. Wow. So, that's pretty awesome cooking our first white bait fritter here for a visitor. My helper here, so she's done a really good job of doing the net today. I can sit back here, relax. Lovely. Lovely day for having a white bait fritter. Do you want a knife and fork? Or are you okay like that? Oh, okay. oh. Yum. So it happens when you do the work, you get a feed. And Nicole's worked for it today, so she's spent the last few hours checking the net all the time. So she deserves a nice white bait fritter. And there's white bait on there. There is. Oh, nice. Little big ones. Yeah. I might take these all back. I might see the big ones. Oh. Yeah. Coming your way, Gary. They're coming your way. Back to Gary. <laughs> right, I'm gonna make up my white bait fritter now. I'm gonna have that as well. So, not quite in the best spot yet. Enjoy that? Well, you're welcome. Yeah, make sure you can eat the rest. <laughs> Didn't your cousin leave you any rubber? Yeah, what a meanie, eh? Oh, been catching.
taking that off. You missed out on the white bait, didn't you? Yeah. And this is my white bait fritter. Doesn't get any better than that. Down here by the river. We are caught the white bait. We end the next day. And just as the wind's coming up, I'm about to indulge in a white bait fritter roll. You guys like that? Would you eat that? Just need a little bit of lemon juice and we'll be delicious. Just hold it like that. Right. Mmm. Just rubber. Wow. Oh yeah. These bread rolls are better than bread actually. They're yeah. pretty good, aren't they? Yeah. Toasted. Yeah. That's rubber. Yeah. Eat slowly, rubber. Eat too fast. Right, so after our delicious white bait fritter, we might as well have another coffee while we're here. The white bait are not running at the moment. So. And our APG gas stove in the wind. Does a really good job. A couple of coffee sachets there, and there you have it. So one o'clock, so about 11, 12, one, so almost two hours the outgoing tide. So hopefully we might see some runs now, or right bait, outgoing tide. We'll stay a bit longer. Day today, the office. Hey, mm. oh, it's better. Coffee and then a moi. <laughs> it's a bit like that, isn't it? I could probably sleep right here quite well, actually. Someone's got the net, control of the net, I can have a sleep. Oh, as you wake up, and it's, it's down the river somewhere, floating away. <laughs> Mm. Now we're going to hang around for a bit longer, see how we get any more white bait on the outgoing tide. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right on, Nicole. Oh, it's good, yeah. I'll get a few more of those. Oh, well done. Let's go check what I was yakking away. Nicole bought this in. A couple of big ones in here, but most of them are little ones. Oh yeah, we've got a combination here of Inanga and Whitebait. That's a good shot, probably the best shot of the day. Yeah. Nice, that's what you want. Oh, you're doing a good job. <laughs> Another good shot, it'll always be about two minutes after the last one. It's a good shot, all nice ones too. Well done. Well done. Awesome. That's a good weight bait that. Must be getting that last little run eh, in the afternoon. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. 
You take a photo of that one, do you? Yeah. Well done. Look at that. That's like that's like half what we got there. Wow. That's all good white bait too. Hear that sound? Hey. You get the sound and stuff or something? Yeah. It's great. This is the soul of the day. Look at that. Salt of the day going into the net, into the bucket. It's a nice white bait. Wow. Wow. And they go all throffy too. They hear that sound, you, you hear them, that's what you want to hear. Throffing, they throff. Like two hours of really quiet, quiet and stuff. So awesome, Nicole. Look at that. Almost thinking you bring me bad luck, but no. <laughs> I bring myself bad luck. Gonna, gonna run drain the water out. See that sound? That's what you want, hey, that sound? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Jumping out of the water. Okay. Oh. Look at those. Oh, I've got to put it in there quickly. Here you go, you're going to take a photo of it. Falling out. Here you go. There you go, end of the today's session of white bait session today, all finished. Lovely day out here with a cousin. She had a great day. Her first day white baiting and she did really well. We're gonna show you what she caught. You're gonna go home and we'll go home and weigh it up later on. So that is pretty good. That's a good catch. It's more than I got apart from yesterday. This is like this lot of white bait. Awesome, well done cuz. High five. Well done. There you go. Aluminium hands. <laughs> your hands are like, show us your hands. Look at that. Yeah, there's fingernails. Oh. <laughs> white bait fingernails. So there we go, we're gonna go back now. We're gonna weigh this white bait up today and see what we got. An awesome day catching up with a cousin here. Did you have a good day? A good day, cuz? That's good. Lovely Kai as well. You should take him some white bait for dinner tonight. Don't share it with your flatmates. <laughs> here we are, we zero it on now. Zero it on here. Let's put it in. Let's see, I got 600 yesterday. So it's a couple hundred grams less. Here you go, 466 grams of yummy white bait. Here you go, today's catch. Morning everybody, good morning. Here is my cousin Nicole again. Two days in a row, white baiting. See how we get on today. There will be no white bait fritters today. We just here to catch some white bait to put in our freezers, hopefully. So it's eight o'clock and we're here the same time as yesterday, but we're actually here an hour early because of the tide. So we're gonna just hang around for the incoming tide. We're gonna white bait that and then we'll sort of go on full tide or a bit after full tide. Yesterday it wasn't really happening on the outgoing tide. So rather than hang around in the hot sun and do it, we just thought we'll finish early today. We'll try and catch the white bait on the incoming. Rubber's here as well. Rubber was pretty tired yesterday after white baiting. Nicole was buggered yesterday. She was in bed at half past seven apparently. She did a great job of pulling up that net every minute or so. That's what you have to when this water's a bit puddy. Bit nippy today, there's a bit of breeze. Hopefully that breeze will go away. It's coming from this direction here this time. More from the like the south. I would say a bit southerly. Probably why it's a bit cold. We had a frost yesterday morning, I forgot to say. It was a frosty morning. We had a great day. So hopefully that wind will die off and we'll have a good morning. Eight o'clock. 
So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it inspires you guys to get out there and give it a go. And we'll see you when we put the net in the water. My helper over here. they way out wide. Look, see them? See them? At the end of the marker. Way out there. Big shoulder of them. We're too close in. Far out. Do you see them? It's not going to work this. Well, that's good. I'm going to put the pole back on. Shit, stuck. Jeez. That was a big shoal. So I had the net in the water without the pole. Just trying that out because this water was quite shallow. And I sucked the marker out and I saw a big shoal coming over at the end of the marker. My net was nowhere near it. So I had to put the pole back on the net. It's quite a good day today for the marker at the moment, so it's not a beautiful day here in Fakatani here. Beautiful day. Spring is here today, 19 degrees apparently. October the something, October the 5th or 5th, or something like that. Going in, big shoal still going in. See the middle there? Still going in. See them all? It's heaping, I'm still going in. Holy hell, it's a big shoal. Heck. Uh, big shoal. Got them too. You see them going in? It's so little. Check that out. Oh, nice. Ooh, Gary there. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's bigger. It's fish more than I thought. There you go. Oh, that's a good one. You can see them going in the right spot, see? Just right in the middle there, you can hardly see them, that's how, um... Oh, it's a good shoal, it's actually smaller than I thought, but it's definitely the, it's the first shoal for today, so that's definitely happy with that. Oh, nice wave, but check that out. Here we go, eh? You can hardly see them, mate. It's so, because that muddy bottom's really hard. Mm. You didn't see them, eh? <laughs> <laughs> no, I like You're looking. In the yeah, you saw them at the end, though, eh? You I see them? The end, like, just you just see them, yeah. That little, it's so hard to see. I reckon maybe just push that knee out just a little bit. Just a little bit there. Yeah. Yeah, I think that, you know, that's about where they'll come in, about there, yeah. So if they come in a bit closer to the side, just move the net slowly back. Yeah. But see, they work angles, wait, bait, they, they're heading on an angle. Yeah. So the ones in front, they don't, don't see the marker. Yeah. So it's their fault, what we've got caught. <laughs> <coughs> wow, that was a good show. Over the marker. A few um, inunga around here, just put them back in the water. There's about four or five inunga. There's my big one there. So it's good for the market too, so it makes it easier for us to, it's so hard to bring up all the time. Well, I mean, I'll cut that bit out. But. This sort of shoal go in there, second shoal, and I'm up here and Nicole's down there. We go in. Yeah. There's some big ones, I think, too, eh? Oh, yep. Yeah. There we go. Very hard to see. I'm just sort of helping Nicole here to try and spot spot them. They're really hard to spot. So it was about five minutes after the first one, or probably longer, I think. Oops. So here we go. Second shoal. They're so hard to see. But Nicole and I onto the board now with some delicious white bait. Oh, see if we can flip it. Might be a bit. I mean, flip into the water here and go drop. Into the water. Yeah. That's all right. That's perfect, yeah. Yeah, second little shoal. There you go. 
Oh, nice. Yeah. It's a big there, look. These are nice if you fry them up with a bit of butter and dust them with flour. Oh. <laughs> up there, you've probably got them. Those coming really close on an angle, you can center the net. Little soul. Ta da ta da! Did you, did you see them? That's because I'm hunter gatherer, you see. Oh. Imagine if you had Thornton and they're coming over four times as fast. <laughs> Little shoal, a bit smaller than the last one. But Hard to see those. I could just see them. Little shoal there. It's hard to see. The water's a bit dirty. Mm. I'd rather use a marker when we can, but if we haven't used a marker, then we have to do what we did yesterday and bring up the net every few minutes. But this way is a bit easier on the body. Hey. Start when you've been here for about an hour. Yeah. One of these full is what will be good. Nice thing, that's a nice white bait. Lucky and the babies. Oh. Well, we're going to finish now. Nothing's really happening here today for us today. It's one o'clock. We've got to go and do things. So we've got a couple hundred grams here or something. You can have that. 235 grams today, four hours work. That's why, that's why you do that. There you go.